click the bell icon to get latest videos from ikeda hello friends now we are going to see the grouping of two adjacent ones on kmap let's start so in this video our aim is to represent grouping of two adjacent ones on k map and write expression so let's start with the first example suppose you have two variable k map a and b so we'll represent 0 1 0 1 box will be represented by 0 1 and 2 3 now you have this is the given part you have given like this so the next step is to get the final answer using kmap rules so grouping of two adjacent ones so here you have to search for two adjacent ones so you can see here this one and this one are adjacent to each other so we will make one group likewise you have to draw then how to write the equation for this grouping you will write y as you can see here a is for first box 0 and for second box is 1 so it is changing a is not same now you can see here this side b is 0 for this one also and b is 0 for next one also so we'll write y equals to b bar only then if you consider the next example 0 1 0 1 a and b now the positions of one are like this 0 1 2 3 so we will make a group of these two and we'll write equation for this so here b is changing for this one b is 0 for this one b is 1 but if you see here vertically then a is 0 for both the ones so y equals to a bar we will write so this is our final equation for grouping of two adjacent ones considering the two variables now we will see for three variables for three variables how you will calculate the final expressions aim is grouping of two adjacent ones on K map so the next example this is the given part three variables means a b c 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 and 1 so grouping of two adjacent ones suppose you have ones like that how you will solve first of all mention all the boxes 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 you have to make a group after that you have to write the expressions how you will write the expression if you will see here c is 0 and c is 1 means c is changing and here a remains the constant means a bar b this is for a bar b so your final equation will become a bar b because c is changing that's why we will not consider c we will consider only a bar b fourth example suppose k map is given and once you will get like this so your first step is to mention all the variables a b and c then 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 
after that 0 and 1 then mention inside the boxes 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so grouping of these two adjacent ones we have to do so here these two are changing this b and this b so here if you see for one it is zero zero and for this one it is zero and one so here a is zero and here a is zero means a is same and here b is changing means it is zero and it is one so we'll focus on this zero we'll write a bar it is same and here c for this one and this one c is one so we'll write only c for 0, we'll write A bar and for 1, we'll write C. So, here your equation is like this. So, if you see here, this 0 and this 0 is same. Here, 0 turns to 1. So, we will not consider B term. We'll focus on A term only. And logic 0 means A bar we will write. And if you see here, this side, horizontal side, this one and this one contains C as 1. It is not changing. It is 1 for both. So, we will write C. 1 means logic 1. That is for not bar. And here 0, 0 means A bar. So, final answer is Y equals to A bar C. In this way, you have to write down the answers for grouping of two adjacent one. We will take next example. Now, let us consider fifth example. Our aim is grouping of two adjacent ones on K map. So, suppose you have given like this. In examinations, K map will be given like this. And here, one and one. You have to calculate the answers. So, your first step is to label all the things. So, labeling means what? Variables A, B, C. 8 boxes are there means 3 variables should be there. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0 and 1. So, here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Now, this is the given part. You have to make a group. So, the rule of KMAP says this corner 1 can be grouped with left side corner 1 like this. And after that, you have to write the expression for that. So, we will consider what? We will see the terms 0, 0 and 1, 0. So, which side is same? 0 side is same. And for A, it is changing. So, we will write here B bar because 0 is same on both the boxes. If we see this horizontally, C is 0 for both. So, we will write C bar. For C, logic is 0. That is why bar is there. So, your final answer is Y is equals to B bar C bar. If you take next example, Suppose given equation on K map, this one and this one. So, first of all, you have to label the K map. Draw the K map properly always. 8 boxes means 3 variables 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, and 1. Mention boxes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Given ones are here. So, again, according to the rule, we can make a group like this corner ones. So, focus on what? Same terms. Here, 0 is there, 1. A is changing, so don't consider 0, 0 means B bar is same, and here C is same. Because logic 1 is here. So, y is equals to b bar 
C is the answer for this type of questions. This is all about the grouping of logic ones and two adjacent ones for getting the answers. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda.